Now let me tell you what we found. Although we did not find clear evidence that Secretary Clinton or her colleagues intended to violate laws governing the handling of classified information, there is evidence that they were extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information. For example, seven email chains concern matters that were classified at the top secret special access program at the time they were sent and received. Those chains involve Secretary Clinton both sending emails about those matters and receiving emails about those same matters. There is evidence to support a conclusion that any reasonable person in Secretary Clinton's position or in the position of those with whom she was corresponding about those matters should have known that an unclassified system was no place for that conversation. Should have known, and he went a step further and suggested that, in fact, it was likely compromised by America's enemies, among many other things. How, how can you say, you know, the law is very clear? Well, there's no evidence she intended, but is that, is mishandling in and of itself a crime? Anyway, joining us now, we have our legal experts. We have Danielle McLaughlin, constitutional attorney, expert. She co-wrote the Federalist Society, How Conservatives Took the Law Back from Liberals. Jay Sekulow, the chief counsel for the American Center for Law and Justice. Judge Janine Pirro, Fox News host. And uh, welcome all of you. Jay, let's start with you. You and I have gone over in detail the very statutes. And, you know, the fact that there is no evidence that Hillary intended, which, by the way, I don't even buy that. I I think that's really that doesn't pass the smell test. But secondly, you don't have to intend mishandling is a crime in and of itself, isn't it? Yes, it is under gross negligence. And if you look at the uh, director's own words, James Comey, he said it was extremely careless. Careless is defined under all of the legal dictionaries and the case law as an act of negligence. Gross negligence is conduct that is an extreme So when you say extremely careless, that is the legal definition of gross negligence, which should then be a violation of 18 U.S.C. 793. So, you know, 13 minutes of James Comey laying out why there were violations of the law to conclude that there were no violations or at least a criminal case to be made here is absurd. His statements before that, uh, that in the opening of his statements, clearly indicated that there was violations of law here. And then he says we're not going to prosecute. A reasonable prosecutor wouldn't move forward. Intent is not the requirement for a number of these statutes. One other thing, Sean, and I think this is the outrage, I think you go back to last week, the meeting on that plane. Was that meeting now simply this? Get your wife to testify. We're wrapping this up. Well, I think that played a big part in it. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Judge Janine, let's bring you in here. Were laws violated? And Comey, give her a pass. Uh, You know, I have to tell you, Sean, I have been in law enforcement for 34 years, a prosecutor, a judge, and a DA. And I have presented many cases to the grand jury, and I have impaneled them. And in my 34 years in law enforcement, I have never seen a case where the target lied about receiving top-secret emails, self-policed herself by deleting 30,000 of them. Some of those emails were proven to have been deleted despite being legally bound to be turned over, sends an email to an aide asking that her emails, making sure they won't be discovered, wipes an unsecure server she kept in her basement, lied about why she set it up this way, destroyed scheduling memos, and admittedly may have easily been hacked by foreign government. Uh, governments and then have the prosecutor announce he found no evidence of criminal intent when that is not the sta- this statute the statute is gross negligent and uh, gross negligence make no mistake Sean when i was a judge i would instruct juries on what gross negligence is and it is extreme carelessness and for this woman to get away well, with Well, extreme it. carelessness he, is the exact term that Comey used. It, right. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. He's saying she was extremely careless, but he's saying there's not enough to prove a case, no reasonable prosecutor. Let me tell you, I consider myself a reasonable prosecutor, Sean. I oversaw 40,000 cases a year in my office, and we have an outstanding reputation. All right, I want to slow you down. I want you to go back, and I want you to point out again every single thing that we know that she did here we know that one she lied from the beginning about sending or receiving aren't we talking about 2,000 emails now 
Uh, she lied about that. She lied about sending and receiving. And she also lied about the fact that, you know, she never had any of this stuff on her server. Then Comey comes out and absolutely contradicts what she says. He puts truth to the lie, and he says there were 110 emails in 52 separate email chains that were classified top secret, uh, 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 secret uh, SAP, 2,000 additional ones that were later determined to be classified, several thousand not given by Clinton. I mean, this is a woman who lied about that and then self-policed herself. And these emails were deleted despite her being legally bound to turn them over. Mm. She instructs an aide not to uh, make these emails identifiable or discoverable. She wipes it clean, lies about it, lies about why she set it up, destroys scheduling. And he says, you know, he's not. Uh, he wouldn't be surprised if sophisticated nation states like Russia and China may have hacked into it. And then it was like the man went from Jekyll to Hyde. And I love yep. Jim Comey, and you know I do because I worked with him. Uh, and he says no reasonable prosecutor would prosecute this. Nonsense. He's wrong. Jay, I, yeah, I know you only have a limited time here. Yeah. Before we get to Danielle, I yeah. wanted to give you another opportunity to weigh in. Yeah, thanks, Sean. And I agree exactly with what the judge said. And, and let me take it a step further here. This is what we've said in the beginning, a faux investigation. In other words, the fix was in when this started. We just saw the fulfillment of that a couple of hours ago. This has never been, despite what the FBI may or may not have done, the fact of the matter is politically this wasn't going to happen. And it goes back to what uh, Judge Janine and I have been saying for a long time. Those emails on that private service server, went to the president of the United States, case was closed by the FBI before they even started. So you think this is directly connected to the fact that 18 emails that we know of went to the president, and that would have dragged the president into the case, and do you believe that the president, along with Bill Clinton, met with Loretta Lynch and said never happening? Was Comey brought Doesn't even have to... Doesn't even the president doesn't even have to meet with Loretta Lynch. Message can be well received before then. In other words, when the when the president said she did nothing wrong, didn't endanger national Correct. security, even though James Comey contradicted that today. Right, that's exactly right. And so you know what it was? That was pre judge and over. But what I'm but I'm hearing is overwhelming, incontrovertible evidence that laws were broken. And by the way, I don't I don't think this is just related to the law that you cite, which is you know Title eighteen, Section seven nine three, which is. What he was referring to, you know, he said Hillary checked every box required for a felony. You know, I would argue she checked every box Absolutely. required for a felony uh, violation. He even made the case, and then he said, but nobody would bring that case. Well, can you say the same to J- David Petraeus? I mean, isn't that a far worse? Isn't this a far more egregious, more conscious effort of on her part? Isn't this... This is Danielle, and I'm going to say, jump in here and say that actually it's not, and it's very much distinguishable from the Petraeus case. Petraeus had eight full notebooks full of classified information, including code words, including war strategy, including the identities of covert officers. He lied under oath about possession and giving them to Paul. Well, wait a minute. Well, slow down here because you're, you're also dismini- diminishing here that she said she had none of these things on her email server when, in fact, we know she had top secret and above top secret classification items, including special access programs, which are the highest level of of secrecy. Clinton always maintained that she did not send or receive classified information that is proven to be true by what Comey has said today. No! Did you hear what Comey said? Who is... uh, It's not proven to be true. Comey himself said that she sent... I'm with you, Judge. Janine. Janine. I'm with you, Judge. What, what, what Comey said today is she, is, is she absolutely did have classified information. What I'm saying is, she said she did not. Comey said, today said the opposite of this. So I totally agree with you that what Comey said here is a terrible indictment of Clinton's behaviour. But you know what? He has prosecutorial discretion. He is cabined by the Petraeus investigation, which was a concern at the time when those charges were laid. There was a relatively small number of uh, materials that were found to be classified, and there was no evidence that in fact, that she lied under oath or in any way obstructed justice. And that goes for both her and her team. And Comey said that today. Wasn't she legally bound to turn those over? Wasn't that part of the it wasn't she also legally bound? I mean, let's be honest here to to protect all of her emails. Isn't the term gross negligence what Comey described today? Well, I disagree with uh with the judge and with Jay. Well, extremely, you know, extreme carelessness, isn't that gross negligence for somebody at her level of government? 
gross negligence indicates some level of wantonness. Well, and well wait a minute. Did, what, didn't she wantonly t- delete 33,000 emails without any without any dis- input by anybody else in government? He called her careless for the mishandling of the classified information. He didn't call her careless for the deletion of the emails that were not turned over. So now we're playing cl- typical quintessential Quint- uh, Clinton word games here and parsing words. Well, but the, the reality is, about the words, and what about, what about the fact that America's enemies, according to the FBI director, likely got access to all of these emails? Well, what he specifically says is there was no evidence of hacking, but there was unlikely to be anyway. So that's an important distinction. But, you know, Sean, I'm going to jump in here for a second. You know, uh, your guest is saying, well, there's no evidence of lying or obstruction of justice. There is evidence of 18 U.S.C. 793. You know, it's like me as a prosecutor saying, oh, you know what, Uh, the guy didn't steal anything, uh, but he did murder someone, or he didn't murder someone, but he did steal something. One has nothing to do with the other. If there is evidence, prima facie case, that goes to a grand jury, the grand jury makes the decision. These are uh, blatantly political moves. It's a game. It's a charade where the husband meets with the attorney general. The president starts campaigning with the candidate. And the head of the FBI comes out and says, oh, no, nothing to see here, folks. This is, and I am telling you that I am, uh, this is my life's work. How about about her original statement, Hillary Clinton telling us, she wanted the convenience of of having it on one single device. And then it turned out she had an iPad, an iPhone, uh, a BlackBerry and everything in between. And Comey goes on to describe today that I use the term singular up to this point, And then he goes, it turns out to have been more complicated as Clinton used several different servers and administrators of those servers during her four years at the State Department and use numerous mobile devices to view and to send email on that personal domain, which goes against her original statement that she made to the American people. Danielle, I know you're a big Clinton supporter, but didn't she lie to us again? That's a lie. I think that was that, a lie from the get-go. I think that she has been very careful with her words. I think that the behavior within the Department of State, there was a systemic problem with high side, low side. I didn't ask you that. I'm asking you, did she lie when she did this for personal convenience and she had multiple devices, knowingly had multiple servers over the course of these years? Isn't that a lie? Wasn't that a lie from the beginning? Just I think like, that she visited 100 countries and did need to have the convenience. I didn't ask you if she devices. needed it. When she told us she did it for the convenience of having it all on one device, that was a lie. Well, she had a BlackBerry and an iPad. I do agree with you. I don't, I don't think it was a lie. I do not think it was a lie. She said that she didn't see anything that was marked. And you don't think it's a lie, for example, in Benghazi while she was telling her daughter and the Libyan president and the Egyptian prime minister it was a terror attack and telling the American people something else? You don't think that's a lie either? Look, I've so seen, basically, the, emails, if, I've seen if, the timeline. There if, were if, I had, if I had, if I had, the timeline is, is at the exact same time she was telling them one thing, she was telling us another. I think if I had video of Hillary Clinton shooting somebody in the face, you know, you'd find some some rationale to excuse it away. That's absolutely not the truth. And in all honesty, I think that this has become a partisan thing as well. This is career pos- prosecutors. This was an FBI director who was appointed two times by George Bush, who none of us have any reason to question. I know, Judge, that you worked with him. He spent an inordinate amount of time today going through exactly what they did and exactly what they found. Frankly, none of us were privy to what happened in the room with her on July 4th for three and a half hours. Last word, we Judge Kira. Out- Here, here's the bottom line. Last word. If anyone understands the law and the burden of proof that a prosecutor has, they would be mind boggled to not go forward with this case. I am disappointed in James Comey. I thought I thought that he was better than this. And although I did predict from the get go that she would not be indicted, that there was too much going on here. The Clintons have danced with federal prosecutors their whole lives. They are not what America should be looking up to. We should be looking down at them. They got away with it again.